this rotation is going to be um, a little bit different than the one when we did the double reflection. This is going to be 90 degrees. Uh, we'll go clockwise with arcs instead of um, instead of a double rotation. We're still going to go through the origin. The origin is our point of rotation. Now, in order to do this, the safety compasses are great. These these guys right there. Um, I'm old school. Back navy, back in my navy days, I like to use an actual protractor and compass and all that. So, what you do is you put the pointy end on the point of rotation, and you open it up to one of the vert vertices, and you draw an arc. Go to the other vertice, or the vertex rather, and you draw another arc. And I think through coincidence, that just happens to be the second arc right there. Um, and then you draw a third arc through this guy right here. I just wanted to get really good arcs for the for this. Let me get that down a little bit. Let me zoom it in. Let me make the screen a little bit bigger. So everything looks a little bit nicer. Let me do that. Now you need a straight edge. So I can draw lines through each vertex from the point of rotation. Because we need these to draw our 90 degree angles. Now, um, if we're doing a 90 degree we can use a protractor, which for all my wants I don't have right now. But since it's 90 degrees, we can use a 90 degree tool of some kind. And what I'm going to use is I'm going to use just some sticky notes. And I'm going to take the first one and say, all right, well, I'm going to line up the sticky note at the point of rotation, line up one side here, and that creates a 90 degree angle. That intersects right here. If that's point A, there's my A prime, there's a 90 degree rotation there. Now, if that's point B right here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'll use this since it's a little bit easier to maneuver. The sticky side was way too sticky. So I lined it up on the line right there. I got it to the point. So I'm going to draw this and keep on. It wasn't long enough, but I extended it out. There's B prime. Now here's C. Same thing. I want a 90 degree here. But I still need some extra line there, so I make sure I'm on the line. I'll use the video for this. I'm on the line. There's C prime. So you draw your arcs, you draw lines through here, and then that's 90 degrees that's 90 degrees and that's 90 degrees and then that was one two three four one two three four that leads me to believe that things are working out in our favor I draw that line and yeah use a straight edge but I'm not because I just kinda started doing it Here's my new triangle. Um, the 
there's the triangle there, there is the original triangle, and that was a 90 degree rotation. And you can kind of tell it was 90 degrees because it ended up, you could think of it as A was two points away from that, A ended up being two points away from that one. Um, ended up being really, really nice. Um, if you want to, you can do some research as to the coordinates for a 90 degree rotation because the coordinates change too. But hopefully that helps. Enjoy. Good luck on the test tomorrow.